I was first introduced to the game of golf around the age of two by my dad. I used to throw tantrums whenever he would leave the house without me. Cut down a set of clubs for me and would let me just go to the range with him, whack around and have fun, and that's how it all got started. You know, I think having started golf at such a young age, um, I think what really drew me to the game was just spending quality time with my dad and brother. And I think from there, um, when I was six, he, uh, my dad put me in uh, a couple of local junior tournaments and I started making some friends that would play golf as well. Um, and I just never really let it go. And I think that's really where my passion grew. Growing up, I played a lot of local tours, um, and that's how I really developed my game. And then around sophomore year of high school, I started really considering where I wanted to go to college. And uh, funnily enough, I never really you know, envisioned going very far from home. So I always had a school um, here in the Southeast that I knew I wanted to attend, and my parents actually had to force me uh, to go out and visit Stanford and some of the West Coast schools. Once I stepped foot on campus, it took 24 hours for me to do a complete 180 and just fall in love with everything. It didn't, uh, it didn't hurt that it was April here and we were having like our last cold snap of the year and I went out there and it was sunny and warm and I was like, yeah, I could do this year round golf thing. And uh, that's how I ended up at Stanford. And I really loved my team, loved my coach, had an incredible experience. Um, we were fortunate enough to win a national championship in my time there, which was definitely the highlight of my college career. Uh, but all around, it was an incredibly challenging environment, both academically and athletically. Um, and I think it really pushed me to higher levels, and I'm grateful for the experience. Graduated college in 2016 and immediately began my journey towards the LPGA Tour. Um, I got an exemption into an LPGA event that summer. I played a couple of Symmetra Tour events, which is the mini tour, um, to get prepared for Q School, um, which took place uh, that fall. And um, I went through all three stages of Q School. I made it to the final and uh, finished high enough to earn my LPGA Tour card for the following season. And um, once I was able to gain entry uh, later the spring of 2017 into an LPGA event, I improved my status enough to then be able to have status for the rest of the season. And it's just kind of been written from there. You know, I think in the sport of women's golf, um, there haven't been a lot of black players in, in the sports professional history. I think as of now, eight players have had status on the LPGA Tour. And so I think you're definitely seeing the number of black women grow, playing golf growing. Um, and instead of it being every now and then, I think right now we have a lot of players simultaneously looking to play on the LPGA Tour. So there's definitely growing numbers. You know, I love the opportunity to um, you know, represent, I think, um, the growing uh, number of uh, black women playing golf. And I think it's an honor right now to be on the LPGA and taking it on uh, full steam ahead. I look forward to um, continuing to have the opportunity to inspire other young golfers. And, um, you know, the goal would be one day to, you know, never even need to comment again on how many players, uh, how many black women are on the LPGA tour. I hope to see that number rise. My name is Mariah Stackhouse. I am disciplined, tenacious, kind, and I'm here to elevate the game of women's golf.